Anyways, what is up guys? Dave back again for another trucking vlog and today we are going to drop this loaded trailer. We just tried to drop it at a Home Depot distribution center, but they gave me an address down the road to supposedly an abandoned mall where they store trailers and to told me to drop this trailer there. So I'm like, okay, so that's like where I'm going. I don't know what to expect, but yeah. Oh uh, yeah, there's Birmingham out there in the distance. You guys won't be able to see it on GoPro, but just above the trees on the horizon, you can see the uh, downtown buildings. First Won't night. you paint me a Birmingham? A little house on the edge of town. It's a country song, man. What y'all know about Birmingham? Then take the first left. There used to be a foot. Oh yeah, there's tons of trailers out. Holy crap. Say a command. No, I don't want to say a command. Make sure I didn't clip no cars, man. Stop, GPS. Leave me alone. Say a command. Oh, we gotta go slow, Turn slow, left slow, left slow dude. There's some pothole riddle crap if I've ever seen any. Sorry, Werner. I ain't going through these potholes fast. You got me messed up. Think I'm gonna tear up my truck. Oh, now he sees them. Now he's like, holy crap. <laughs> Where it's like, the hell with this. Okay, well, we can't go left into that. We must wrap all the way around then, I'm assuming. That stop sign is irrelevant now. <laughs> it's irrelevant, guys. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter where. Oh, then you stop. Then you just stop. All right, so that was the security guard just chilling there in his car. You know, obviously you gotta have security out here to make sure that uh, <laughs> nobody just comes in here and takes these loaded trailers. Because when they told me I was going to an abandoned mall, I was like, well, oof. That would be an iffy spot, dude, considering how that other trailer is angled. Yeah, let's go down and look for a little bit better one, I guess. Hell, I could back it in right here on the left side of this pole. Nope, there's another trailer on that other side, actually. Can't do it. Yeah, I didn't see that Pam transport trailer there. Since it was so far back, I was about to put mine right there. Uh, more potholes. Dude, it's like a straight and abandoned mall, man. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. I almost want to go inside. Sure, so yeah, it's all boarded up and everything. Oh, dang, dude, that landing gear sunk. Look, that trailer is freaking falling dude yep that landing gear sunk right into the freaking In asphalt one quarter mile, turn right damn on West Lake Mall, then take the first right. that ain't no good god what's our backing situation gonna be like here i don't know depends on it oh is that a spot over there yeah that is a spot over there there's a spot right there too is there any spots i think i'm just gonna take this spot right here dude why freaking not? No, 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 that the trailer ain't gonna fit there, man. I thought it was, but it sure ain't. Oh, there's spots over there. Okay, yeah, we'll just have to go over there. I thought this was a spot right here, but it's not. Oh, this sucks. Right here, dude, I just said it right here. Literally, that's exactly Turn what right I'm gonna do. Turn right Westlake Mall, then take the first right. exactly what I'm gonna do that is exactly what we are gonna do let's make sure that looks good see just like that right behind that other one right there man perfect it's exactly where I wanted her oh, yeah he's loaded too Oh, perfect, man. That's exactly where I wanted it. That'll work. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. All right, guys. So last time I showed you hooking up the trailer and what I did, um, unhooking. Remember when we hooked, we started from the front, right? And that's how my trainer taught me. He said, start up front, you know, disconnect your airlines, release your fifth wheel, which releases the kingpin of the trailer. So then you can unhook from it, uh, lower your landing gear, and all that good stuff well now we do the opposite when we unhook and we start from the back with our lock 
Some people have left these on here before and the next driver has to cut it off. And if they don't have anything, they're pretty much screwed. <laughs> this lock is tight on here, dude. Well, I'm just gonna have to make do. There we go. There we go. All right, first thing we do, take the lock off. Obviously, here's our little seal that lets them know it wasn't tampered with. Um, but we take our lock, because I'm the only one with the key for it. Next thing we do is, we start it from the back, we're gonna lower the landing gear. I'm gonna put this stuff inside first though, because I don't wanna carry it around. Oh, and we have to pull our trailer brakes. <laughs> Whenever you disconnect, you gotta, whoop. Hear that? Release the trailer air. Make sure I don't get a face full of air when I disconnect the freaking brake, dude. All right. Next thing we do is we lower the landing gear. Also, like my trainer taught me, we leave a little gap right under the landing gear. See, it's hard to tell, but you can actually like get most of my shoe under it that's how much he told me to leave like a like a shoe amount basically is kind of how my trainer taught me i don't know if that's right or not but that's what i do <laughs> if you guys have any better uh ideas let me know look at this one of my flavored waters dude i love these flavored waters i always get i buy like 14 or 15 of them before i come out on the road oh that's an empty coolant jug i can throw that away i didn't have nothing to do with it when i put it in a in the truck at the tractor supply that one time all right, next thing we do, this is the fifth wheel release lever right here. It's what releases the kingpin of the trailer, which allows it to slide out or allows your tractor to slide out, pull, pull forward and slide out from the fifth wheel. So we pull that, it's now released. CFI teaches us to use these, put a foot on the wheel, all that good stuff. Now that that's done, we can disconnect our airlines. Remember I told you guys at one time somebody sent me a video of uh, a guy, he was a Werner driver, like, you know, the one that just passed us, that company. He uh, left all his stuff still attached and tried to drive off and, you know, he just forgot. That's all it is. You know, you can't say, oh, what a dumbass. I mean, that's why you want to get in a rhythm of all this stuff. You want to do the same thing every single time. That way you don't forget and you get in that rhythm because, you know, it's easy. Something could happen. You could get a phone call. You could, you know, do everything, thought you did it and you didn't. It can happen to anybody, man. You just gotta be careful. I'm sure he wasn't the first one to have ever done that. And he won't be the last. All right, so that's pretty much everything for unhooking, except for getting in the cab and pulling forward, listening for the click of when you release, all that good stuff. Um, we lower our airbags, which will drop the trailer down. Um, and yeah, that's that, guys. That is how you, it's really easy, really simple to unhook and hook a trailer all right so what i usually do from here is obviously got to turn on the truck trainer always told me to roll the window down and pull forward to hear click there it is Oof, i'm a little rusty there was the click now we lower our bags watch our little suspension gauge here so it shows how much load is on our suspension so when that gets to zero then that means that there's no more load on our suspension we're free to pull out from the trailer now we pull up just a few feet till we're out from under the trailer but we keep the frame under it in case the landing gear for whatever reason does not support that trailer and it falls it falls onto the frame of my trailer and then i can back back into it and re-hook if there is a problem rather than it just falling on the ground you know what i mean so it is supported right now it's not on my tractor at all anymore so now i pull up you know i, I like to just get out from under it and then boom reinflate my air and then the back of my tractor comes back up and we are successfully unhooked it's pretty much how it works guys so now we got to go looking for a freaking empty trailer and I'm telling you, there ain't gonna be none here. There ain't gonna be none here. This is like a loaded trailer part. Nope, both are loaded. That's gonna be loaded too, dude. There's just no way that 
it's pretty much over with, dude. I'm gonna have to end up going to that other freaking address, man. 100%. Let's go look, though. I actually kind of hope that this one is loaded because it's one of our crappy 3 Series trailers like I just got done dropping. But just my luck, this is going to be the one that's freaking empty. Nope, sealed. Oh, and that's how you can tell, guys. That's why I walked to the back. There's a seal. Seal. I mean, lets them know it's not tampered with, the customer. And also, that's how we tell if they're loaded so we don't have to open it or anything. We can't open it anyways. We can't break the seal. This one ain't too bad looking. Nope, sealed. And the other one, where is it? Oh, this one. Sealed. <sighs> well, guys, there's the trailer. <laughs> that thing just sunk straight into the asphalt, dude. Literally, both landing gear. It's so funny, guys. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, why is my blinker on? I'm gonna be honest with you. So when I first started with the trainer and stuff, you know, he was like I am now. Like he was go, go, go. Like, let's go. Like God, I don't want to wait. This, that, and the other. And me being the new stressed out truck driver is like, man, I want to take my time. You know, I just want to like be easy, take my time. You know, not worry so much about the money. And then you actually become a truck driver, and it just, it just, it just hits you one day, and you're just like, I gotta get to this next load. I gotta get this trailer. I gotta. There's oh, there's a CFI out there. Yes. Yes, they wouldn't put loaded trailers out here, dude. That's an empty, son. Woo, boy. I am so excited, yes. But yeah, now I act just like my trainer. I act just like my trainer now, guys. Like, I'm like, okay, I gotta get to the next load. Gotta get to this empty trailer. I gotta do this so that I can get this uh, next load put on so I get paid for that. I gotta get my miles. I'm trying to make $1,000 this week. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I didn't think I would be like that, but now I am. <laughs> Literally, like, it's a hustle, dude. Oh, I'm so excited, dude. I mean, there is a slim to none chance that that trailer is loaded. And it actually looks like a newer one, too. It's not an old 3 Series. Yeah. Because, like, the 3s are the old ones. The 4s are kind of like middle of the road, you know. Because they, they go up. And then you had the 5 Series, which is, like, the nice ones. And I think they also have 6s now, too, which would be, like, the brand spanking new ones. But it's always nice to have a newer trailer. Just hope there ain't another CFI guy in here that just pulled in before me to go pick it up. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. I'm going to back in front of it anyways, even before I look and make... Oh, there's another... Dude, there's a few CFI trailers here. Okay. Let's see which one looks the nicest. 42945. I mean, that one's nice enough, dude. I ain't complaining. I just want it empty. I'm sure it works. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Look at there, boys. Ooh, I might not even have to adjust to. I gotta go a little bit to the right. A little bit back to the left. A little bit more. Oh, God, I'm way too far to the right. No, Dave, what are you doing, bro? Getting rusty over here. Oh, God. That's probably pretty good. Let's go make sure it's empty now, guys. If it's not, I'm going to be heartbroken. Just giving the tires a quick once over. It's loaded. Fuck. Damn, man. That one looks really nice. That 49249 right there. Look, that stainless steel corner right there, like all shiny and shit. Dude, don't tell me all these are loaded too. I'm gonna be chapped. I am gonna be chapped. I was so excited, man. I really was. This is a nice trailer. I want this one. Come on, man. Yes. Yes. We are in business, boys. In business. Oh, these doors are freaking. Dude, give me a good trailer for once. I haven't had that three series for one too many freaking days, dude. 
Yes. All right, well, I had a scare for a minute, but now we just gotta hurry before some other CFI comes here and tries to grab it. Come on, guys, run, run, run. I need my exercise anyways, man. Uh, I need my exercise. Whew. Whew. Yeah, dude, we can't have no other CFI coming out here, dude. Can't no other CFI coming out here. Snatching that trailer. Trust me, it could happen. Any minute, see if I can come right down here. Hell to the gnaw, bro. That's my trailer right there. That one's nice. 